Hi and welcome to my tutorial spinning with a Nakka spindle. I'm Sidi from Sidi Spin. I'm coming to you from Bern in Switzerland. It's the main city. And I want to show you how to spin traditionally with a Nakka spindle. I brought here a semi original Akka spindle I bought in the US. It's a quite beautiful one with a whale nut burl, I think. It's like about 11 grams and then it spins beautifully cotton. Akka isn't only the name from the spindle, it's a population from Asia. They lived normally in um, Myanmar, um, Thailand, China and Tibet. And they have tradition to spin the cotton on a drop spindle. It's not a normally drop spindle, it's a spindle that has the world in the middle. And you start by a, a, a kind of supported spinning and then you change to a, a drop spinning with a long with a long draw. It sounds a little bit difficult but it's quite easy and I really love to spin like that. So first I um, like to show you how to start? There are two different kinds of Akka spindles. I have one with a hook and one without a hook. I like to spin with uh, the Akka spindle with a hook. It's a kind of a safety place. Um, I don't really like to spin with the spindle with a back loop. They, are, they aren't that um, calm to spin. They're wiggly all the time because the thread going on one side of the tip. When you take an aqua spindle with a hook, the thread going in the middle up and so the spindle is quite calm and easy to spin. So I think we will like to start. I choose a, a green cotton. It's organic cotton. They naturally grow grows in this color. Um, it don't look that green now, um, but if you cook it after spinning, they um, change the color quite uh, a lot. Here you see um, a little skin I spun on the nakka in the green cotton and cooked it. And now you see the big difference about these two greens. It's more a beige brown and um, now it's really a green and it's a beautiful green. I really, really like to wear a green like that. So then we go and starting. You all so can use a pony, um, but maybe you don't choose uh, like an Egyptian um, cotton who has a really long staple because the long draw is easily with a shortener um, staple length. So you can um, start with or without spit on the tip. Uh, when you put a little bit spit on it or, or, or a little bit of water, they, um, the cotton goes better on the tip, but I make it without. You put a little bit fiber on, on below the tip, below the hook, and then when you feel it's um, safe, you can go up and put some twist in it. So you have to 
rotate clock clockwise. You always spin clockwise to remember how you have spun it. So I'm applying counterclockwise. So you see now I have a lot of twist in here. And now I can put some more. You don't have speed that beautiful at the beginning. So a lot of people spin Anka spindle like that. They um, put some twist in it, support it like that, and then when they have a, a enough length, they're gonna drop it to put some more twist in it. Um, traditionally, you uh, make a long draw on the spindle and. Only for the beginning you make this supported version. So I have an, enough of the first thread. Now I can um, put in the beginning down on the row and go put the thread on it, winding up. And safety in the hook. So now you can choose to make the beginner version and put um, the twist supported in your cotton, but you um, really need a lot of muscles in this hand because um, when you rotate the spindle, always it's quite hard. And I'm um, a bit a lazy person. I don't like that. <laughs> so, then we go to the long draw. Now I have to move the camera again. First I'd like to show you um, how to attach the fiber on the thread if they are broken. Um, I always attach a lot because I don't like uh, much fiber on my hands because I always make mess. And, um, so I, I have to attach a lot. Cotton attaching is really easy. You can um, only lay the old thread over the fiber and put some twist in it and draw. The new fiber attaches automatically. Show that you put a lot of twist in it, so it don't break again. For the long draw, we need a, a lot um, of thread to work with. Um, I always take some, so like uh, 20 centimeters. And I work um, with twisting over the leg. It's quite faster than when you tip on the strand of the spindle. So what I'm doing now is um, I control the, the twist with my working hand. On the right one and hold the fiber on the left. Um, I hold the fiber really easily, like a, like a butterfly in the hand. And you see, um, I make a back rotate on my working hand, so I can um, control the twist better. So I don't have um, a lot of bumps in it at the beginning. Why I um, like to work like that is um, I can um, work while I sit. I really like that. And also I like the long draw on the spindle because it's kind of a, a 
free spinning. And I'm a really <laughs> controlled person and it's, um, it's challenging me. So you see, it's, um, you're playing more with, um, with controlling the twist and drawing. You don't have to think about um, a twist lock because the long draw is very free to work and the fiber is short so you um, can add a lot of twists before it blocks. I have to rotate the spindle quite a lot in this video because I try to um, show it um, slow. <laughs> Normally I spin quite um, fast. If you have enough twist and enough length, you can wind it on your spindle again. And I like to show you the same um, while standing and in front to that you have um, every, saw every side. So I hope um, you're still with me and um, don't give it up. And then I'd like to show you um, the spinning with the Anka spindle from the front. Um, Sometimes it helps to see it from another side. So I hope this help you see it a little bit. special tone in the audio. It's quite windy here and I have a, a little old house, so you hear it, how the wind blows. So sometimes I forget to, to talk. Don't mind. Maybe I blend in some music. So I um, hope I could give you um, a little picture of spinning with the Naka spindle and I also hope um, you will try it. It's really worth to give you a try. I will um, link some videos below this video 
from traditional um, Akka boat women who spins and there are um, not a lot uh, I kind of found three or four but I love to share it with you and yes thanks for watching it and um, I see hope I see you soon in the next tutorial or podcast yeah bye thanks mm -hmm.